Well, I'm already enjoying my visit with Michael Alvarez, this morning's Monroe College Bronx High School Student of the Week. So, ladies and gentlemen, from All Hallows High School for Boys, uh, this week's uh, Monroe College Bronx High School Student of the Week, Michael Alvarez. A little applause, please, for Michael. Thank you. Boy, that was a smattering, to say the <laughs> least. Jeez. <laughs> so we're in the middle of some really serious grimy stuff right now. Grimy? It's grimy. I'm going to tell you why it's grimy because look at this guy. It's boom, boom, boom. It's going to get loud. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get super nuts because you know why? Boom. Oh shoot. Boom, boom. They're upset. They're emotional. They're, they're, I don't know what's going on. Something's happening. You're gonna love me for exactly what I'm about to show you. It's kids. Kids making some music. It's amazing. <laughs> right in front of the cathedral too. It's absolutely amazing. I'm a national salesman. I do advertising for national clients, automobiles, movie theaters, movies, um, restaurants, retail. I do advertisements for a whole bunch of companies across the United States. But my passion is really creating content, content that hasn't been created, content that needs to be spoken, needs to be seen. As a Latino, as the first Latino in my family to go to college, as the first Latino man born in my family in America, I feel like it's my responsibility to, to leave something before I leave this world. I launched a scholarship that is aimed at providing high school students the opportunity to travel abroad for the first time in their lives. So this is the one shot, the shot we take before we start raising money for these kids. How you doing, man? Chilling, man. Good, good. <laughs> okay, so thanks for cutting my hair, man. I want to get a Caesar all over. And a Caesar is very symbolical because, you know, I've told you this before, but back in high school, I went to Italy. For the first time in about 15 years, I'm going back. And I just want to help out people because I've been helped out in life. You know, I got a scholarship to go to high school. I got a scholarship to go to college. I got a scholarship to go to summer camp when I was in seventh and eighth grade. So all my life, I've been gifted by others. And it's about time to give back, you know? What part of Cali are you from? Right here, born and raised in North Hollywood. LA, LA County. LA County, North Hollywood. North Hollywood. And so, this is your shop, yeah? This is my shop, yes sir. And now you open up a second location. Second location, yes sir. So what are the plans? Would you ever open up an East Coast? I would. My plan is to have at least 30,000 shops throughout the whole world. I know it's a hell of a it, dream, but it's a dream and it's, it, it's gonna happen. How did this happen? How did it happen? Just, um, I needed a place to work. I needed a place to work. At the time, uh, I had other friends that, that wanted to invest with me in the moment and all together we made it happen. It's a big step right here. Yeah, but you know, it'll grow, right? Yes, sir. It'll grow back. I'm excited for your new shop opening up. Yeah, it's gonna be cool, man. We're having our grand opening 
in a month, May 20th, we yeah. are uh, partnering up with a nonprofit organization called You Speak Collective. And what is the what does the organization do? What do they do? They empower kids to do whatever they want to do. So they have art programs, they have a soccer program. We sponsored them to do a, the mural outside from this shop. In the so new wait, shop. kids did that mural outside? Kids drew that. Me and my, me and my partner that we teamed up to sponsor them, we wanted kids on the wall yeah. with careers, you know? And the whole mural is named Dream. Let's check this, oh my gosh, I love it. This is like old school New York Bronx mic up in the house. It's fresh. Nice. Glad Yo, you like it. How much do I owe you, man? Look, man, I like what you're doing with uh, helping out the students and going to school abroad. So I'm going to try to kickstart your, your funding. And yeah. I'm going to give you a little bit over 200. Dude. Okay? Are, so you kidding me? Are you and kidding me? Are you kidding me? I for free. Are you kidding me, man? No joke. Yo, dude. Honestly, bring it in. That's fucking <laughs> awesome. This is my hair. This is my hair. This is my hair. This is my hair. Man? I'm excited. Today's gonna be super busy, super rushed. We were here last night, and uh, unexpectedly, Ooh, VIP had like a 6 p.m. entrance. So it was nuts. You got to scope it out a little bit. Yeah, and it was pretty exciting. We got to figure out like some sales strategies to better increase sales today. Uh, a $10 price point, really gets excited, people are excited here. $10, like, oh, easy, yeah, easy, yeah, yeah. easy, $10. Yeah, so we reorganized some sales yesterday, and we're like, this is what the prices are now. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. We may have a little bit of difficulty getting into this actual conference, but today's goal is gonna be exciting. We're gonna raise money for students to travel abroad for their first time in their life. But first, we have to get through these doors so we could sell merchandise for Manila, Luzon, and Raja. It looks like we escaped the first hurdle of the day, which is awesome. So now the, the next big hurdle is making sure we get everyone to invest in the future. Where, where have we met? Uh, in Brazil, where you stormed the dressing room without permission. Just kidding. And um, at Port Authority, the bathroom. Oh, uh, bye. You know, those Port Authority stories should stay where they belong. I'm raising money at Dracon from Manila and Luzon and Raja's booth. 10% of their earnings go towards a scholarship for students who have never traveled abroad to travel abroad next summer. Why do I care about them? They're assholes, every one of they them. They go to your shows. Not the kids, Manila and Raja. Oh. <laughs> so that's what the day is going to be about. You're going to meet so many different people here. You're going to learn about where they've been, where they want to go. Um, and it's all about fundraising money for the future. You two are really inspiring, you know, world peace and international travel. My question to you two is, where have you two traveled together? We did a tour in Australia. Um, we're also, we've Australia been to... is probably our most big international thing because we spend a lot of time together abroad. That was yeah. the longest time together. But we've done it all over the U.S. We've been to Canada. Canada. And Canada. Yes, oh, Italy. 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 How about we're... Italy together? Is anyone watching in Italy? Yeah. Where are you headed to next? I'm going to Peru. Okay. Peru! I'm going to Peru too! Raising money for students to go and study abroad. To study abroad, which broad? <laughs> Any broad. <laughs> Any broad. I have been to Puerto Rico and I was in Budapest for two days for work, so I definitely want to travel more. My most eye opening international moment I was, okay, so I traveled in 36 hours. I went from Sydney to Melbourne, Melbourne to LA, LA to New York, New York to Manchester. And it's great. Every time you go somewhere different, you meet different people and you like learn different stuff. You, I think here in America, we could be like, oh, we're in the center of the universe. And then you go out and you're like, oh, we're so not. So that's so great. Tiny. Yes, exactly. This is my hair, I don't wear wigs. 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 This is my hair. Chaotic madness right here right now. 
And I'm gonna let you know where we're at with the scholarship. As of Friday at the barber shop, we had 250. So far, I'd say we're adding another like $500 today. So hopefully by the end of the day today, we have $1,000 for the scholarship. By the end of the day, by the end of the weekend, hopefully the goal is to have $2,000. Yeah, I've been to 19 countries. Oh, I'm Tora Hyman from Sydney. I'm Maxi Shield from Sydney. And I'm Vanity from Sydney. My favorite one's New Zealand, Australia, um, England. I loved all those. Have you ever been to LA before? Yes. No. Yeah. What's it like for you right now? It's a little bit overwhelming. We arrived, not yesterday, day before, wasn't it? On Thursday. So, we've just still been like this. Yeah. I have, yeah. I've been to Europe. I've been to Australia. I have never been outside of the country, unfortunately. While this craziest international experience, I got booked for a gig. They said, you're riding with the DJ. We get to the DJ's house, who's going to drive us, and it's Boy George. No lie. I would like to go to Spain. I've always wanted to go to Spain. Just the culture about it. Even Italy too, because it was it, all the ancient stuff. And like, I don't know, I just always liked it. So that's where I want to go. Have you ever been abroad or been anywhere international? Not yet. Soon. We're Hispanic, low-income family, and I'm the oldest, she's the youngest, and it's just us two. I'm going to Australia soon. I'm going to Peru. Um, People really want me in Brazil, so I think Brazil is kind of where I want to go. So, I mean, I've been working since I've been 16, so my dream is just to buy my parents a home, be successful, be happy, healthy, and have my parents as long as I can. Well, and that's a noble goal. It is, and 10% of Raja Manela's sales are going towards the scholarship. You, oh my God, you talked them up to 10%? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're all like, no! Not but my I wanna, money! I, I want to ask you, what's your favorite place in this world? Amsterdam. <laughs> and why? Why Amsterdam? Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, Amsterdam, uh, the vibe is just so chill there. I'm from Seattle. I'm from the northwest of America. And when I go to Amsterdam, I feel like I'm home. I'm already home, you know? Perfect. People are buying merchandise from drag queens that are famous from all over the world. And so hopefully you've been able to see a glimpse of why people are here, uh, whether they're here to see the talent or whether it's talent here to see their fans. Everyone's here to promote, celebrate, light enjoy diversity because everyone here looks very different just like i chopped off my hair the other day speaking of the chop if you want to buy a top cd it's ten dollars latrice manel who's on i actually have to get back because look at this line over here it is long with that said hopefully the goal is we have two thousand twenty five hundred dollars by the end of the weekend love you it's such an exciting day because finally after several years of wanting to give back I've been able to put a plan in action that is rolling at full speed. And then over the weekend, I spent, you know, about 48 hours with drag queens and their fans from all over the world. And so far we've raised over $1,500 in a week. I still have a few more meetings lined up to generate more funds, but the scholarship is, is actually it's already growing, so I'm super excited. I'm a really active member in All Hallows, and I'm in a member of Leadership Societies, to Drama Club, to All Hallows Television oh, Network. Oh, really? Oh, well, we certainly want to talk about that, but let's start with leadership. What is the Leadership Society? Well, we have the Ambassadors Club, which we go and recruit member eighth graders to go visit our school. There are many activities which in, in All Hallows where many sophomores, freshmen want to participate in as like AFS. It's an intercultural program that I was chosen to be in. Mm -hmm. And eighth graders just are amazed that you could go to live in a country for free, basically. Did you do that? Yeah. Where'd you go? I went to Italy this past summer for two months. And you didn't take me, you son of a gun. <laughs> so we're leaving Los Angeles and we're going to Italy, the place where I haven't been to in over 15 years. So this is the moment I'm opening my door and saying, Buongiorno! Hi everybody, so we are here in Florence and this board, just uh, right, uh, this board is a uh, symbol of good luck. So you just have to touch his nose and then with a coin, just this. Yep, this is Santa Maria del Fiore, it's the cathedral here in Florence, it's the main church and it's really amazing.
fare un buon agnello. Hai detto dove sei? Sono di Milano, that's uh, Fondazione Feltrinelli, and we're going to see a work about uh, work. Non mi ricordo più dove si va. E quando arriverà? Quando arriverà? Ciao bella, come stai? Tutto bene? Fa bene? Buono. Today I left Milano and I'm headed to a small town called Campo Vaso. Currently I'm on my pit stop in Roma, Germany and this is my train. Very exciting to go to Campo Vaso. It is actually my hometown and I'm excited to reunite with the sister and parents of Michele Pesuti. Uh, and so you went for, for two months? Yes. And you, was that study? Did you live with another family out of there? Um, well, I studied for a week Great over idea. there. Yeah. And I learned the Italian language and I lived with two host families. Say something in Italian, just for fun. Um, mi piace mi familia italiano. So this was all part of that program through All Hallows? Yes. What an extraordinary uh, opportunity. Yeah, and it was great because... Was it funded or did you have to pay for it? Um, I received an awards for excellent scholarship, which paid for $3,625 out of wow. $4,000. Wow. Yes. What a great opportunity. It was. Uh, that, that's the kind of opportunity that changes somebody's life, right? It does. It really does. Mm -hmm. Alessio, Michele e Giulia. Sì, sì. Siamo a qui. Siamo qui, piazza, in centro, eh, piazza del municipio. Lì c'è invece il tribunale. Quello è l'unico palazzo alto di Campobasso. È una città tranquilla, piccolina, ma bella. Oh, uh, yeah. We used to come here every day and just eat gelato. So, nice. Campo Basso Vecchio. Vecchio. This Vecchio. is old Campo Basso. Yes. Take a look oh, at it. Oh, we need a picture. Wait, oh. picture of you guys first. Photo, ah. second photo. <laughs> it's on. This is my friends, Campo Basso. <laughs> oh. You leaving? Then we are, bye guys. What a oh. crazy one day. I know, I know, I know. So, those are my parents from Italy. I love them to death and it's hard to say goodbye, but I'm gonna see them way sooner. 15 years will not pass. They're gonna see me very soon. If I'm not here in 12 months, that means I've died. So guys, I uh, wanted to plan this dinner tonight because this is actually a really good group of people who I know across the world. Um, this is our first time meeting. Uh, yes. We've never done business. Well, yeah, we have done business together. We actually did a deal for Raja, Raja. and she performs in Peru next week. Next week, Friday. Oh, nice. Yes, awesome. So you know, like we worked on that project together, and then we've worked on a project together where I kind of convinced him to hire Manella, <laughs> but it didn't work. You ah! <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, we actually met last year, yeah. and um, we worked together. In advertising. Nice. nice. One of the reasons why we connected at work is because I actually grew up in Puerto Rico. She came to my office correcting my Spanish. She's like, you know, I love it. You like, know, like, Chinese like, girl <laughs> came in correcting Spanish. Yeah. Every. I'll be you, talking yeah. and I'll be like, speak? Do you speak like fluent Spanish? Uh, yeah. No soy la única, ¿verdad? Yeah. Él siempre está como diciendo, él está hablando con tu tía y tu madre y tu padre. Y I'm like, ¿qué hablando? 
No muchas personas me hablan como en español sí. aquí, por eso creen que soy china, sí. por eso no me hablan. Pero tú eres china. Bueno, sí. Creen que soy china. Creo que soy china, pero... Yo soy china, pero... ¿Cuánto tiempo viviste en Puerto Rico? Como 8 o 9 años. Cheers. Cheers. The best Spanish. Salud. 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 I put this together because I wanted you to listen to an idea that I have that could potentially help all of us, helps other people out, and really put Peru on the map, China on the map, Puerto Rico on the map. Evie Queen, Puerto Rican singer, rapper, songwriter, actress, a producer, to the point where she has over 3 billion views on YouTube. Her music videos have over 3 billion views. It's over 500 million Instagram followers. Evie Queen comes from a very poor town in Puerto Rico. She is known for giving back to charity. Allow Eva Queen to go to your parties, uh -huh. build your brand down there in both of your countries. Two, at the same time, help help other people. So these are both of your parties that I'm thinking we could do Eva Queen, Peru and Chile. Okay. And if we throw a benefit show, it's gonna impact others' lives and it's gonna allow her to do what she loves to do, which is help, like she's touring the world. And by her doing a benefit show in your countries to help other people visit different countries, mm -hmm. it's a perfect way to say, hey, listen, like this is this is gonna be beneficial for everyone. Yeah. In eight days, I'm gonna go to Eva Queen, and if you sign this, you're gonna go to South America within this next year. So what do you think? Well, I think that this is a good idea, but I can make a decision right now because my company is with, with two more people. Yeah. So the decision is with the tree. Michael is working with Ivy Queen. And he's like, he, he's really into Latin music. Like I'm more of, I really like American music, he, yeah. but he really likes reggaeton and cumbia and, and, all, and all. I love the idea, I love the concept. Let me know what it is that we can do so that we could just make it happen. Because at the end of the day, I want us to be the first people who do something like this. I want us to be the first people who make a film about doing something for the world. So let's um let's go to the bar. Cheers guys. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Let's go to the bar, bar have some fun with drinks. So tonight's the night that I'm gonna meet Evie Queen and ask her if she's down to make this happen. Let's check it out. This summer, I've managed to make a movie about a scholarship that I'm raising. And the scholarship that I'm raising is going towards a student that studies at All Hallows High School, All Hallows Institute. It's for the student that is involved with extracurricular activities and also has a part-time job. It's for a student who has never been abroad. And I fundraise $10,000. I'm signing $10,000 check to give to an All Hallows student so that they can come here to Peru and realize that the power within their soul just lies in communicating. This is the end of my film. I love you all. And let's make a difference in this world.
else you want to say? Anything else you want to shout out to anybody? Um, yeah, my family, which I love them all, and Ohalos. Ohalos is one of the best schools in New York, New York City, New York State, and I'm very thankful for being there. Because it's given you obviously a point of yes, view. Yes, it has. Wow, tremendous. Folks, real applause. Now, now a real <laughs> applause for uh, Michael you. Alvarez, who's going to buy and sell all of us one day. <laughs> oh, there's no question about Michael. This is a, this is a superstar waiting to happen. Yes. Michael, good luck. Yes, he knows yes. it. Good luck, Michael. You're, you're just on Thank there. You. Just keep working hard and uh, keep doing all the great things you're doing. I will. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. So, you go to All Hallows. Yes. What year are you in out of Hallows? I'm a sophomore. What are your grades looking like? Um, well, I was third out of my whole freshman class. That's amazing. This year. How so many that, students um, in the freshman class are there? I believe 148. So you're ranked number three out of 148 last yes. year. That's very impressive. Thank very, you. very impressive. Excellent, cool. So what's your favorite subject? Uh, English. English, why is that? Because I love to read and I'm love writing. I hope someday to become a writer. I actually was given an award to travel abroad for the first time. Wow. And the school gave out five different awards that year. Um, and so I was, I, I received a half scholarship to go to Italy for the summer. Have you ever been abroad? Uh, no. You've never been abroad? No. Well, I'm here today to tell you that because you are a hard worker, because you are a Latino from the Bronx, who has succeeded in school, has joined extracurricular activities, and has even had a job before your sophomore year in high school. Uh, I spent my year fundraising money for a scholarship, and I want to give you a scholarship to go abroad next summer. And it's with a program called AFS. I spent my time raising lots of money in many different ways so that I could give to someone who was like me. I think it's great. That's amazing. Where's one place that you would go off the top of your head? Somewhere in Europe. Somewhere in Europe? Great. Because AFS has options in France, Spain, Germany, Italia. It's your choice. I can give you a full scholarship to go abroad next summer. And only you from this high school will go abroad for six to eight weeks. You can take that full scholarship or you can decide to take a half scholarship and share that scholarship with another student in this high school so that two students from this high school could go. And, that, and if you do that, that means you and someone else who's involved with work, school, and extracurricular activities would be given the opportunity to go abroad. So I'm giving you the option right now. Would you want to accept a full scholarship so that you alone could go abroad or a partial scholarship so that you and someone else from the school can go abroad next summer? A partial scholarship. So because so I could share my experience with someone else. Thank you very much, Ryan Figueroa. You are amazing, and I'm very inspired by you, okay? Thank you. Thanks. Yeah.